Let me ask you a question. Do you love motorcycles? Do you love dogs? Wouldn't it be great to take your dog on adventures with you? I found the solution for you. Stay tuned. So I've been trying to figure out how to bring my 50 pound Stafford Terrier dozer on trips with me. I don't want to leave my buddy home and have him miss out on all the fun. And I looked into sidecars, but they're really expensive and not very easy or quick to mount and dismount from the motorcycle and you gotta adjust the frame. In some cases, it ruins the warranty. I looked at pull behind trailers, which I found to be sort of the solution. Um, and I did a lot of research and discovered that trailers that mount through the rear axle are the safest and the bike handles the most naturally compared to ones that have a frame mounted hitch. Watch until the end of this video to see which from all my research of the pull behind trailers I think are best and some pros and cons of each of them. So I want to introduce you to the pylon pooch. Okay. Uh, it is a motorcycle dog carrier. It comes with covers and three colors. Uh, yellow, orange, and blue, okay? It's designed with a roll cage, which can support up to 550 pounds, which is the weight of a lot of larger motorcycles. It has a harness point on top that supports a dog up to about 66 pounds. The internal dimensions for the pylon pooch or pylon pooch is 15.4 inches long by 24.4 inches wide and approximately 21.7 inches tall. Now all these are converted from the metric system because as you can see, it's made in the UK. The external dimensions, the outside dimensions of this are 17.7 inches long, 26.8 inches wide, and 22 and a half or 22 inches tall. The weight of the pylon pooch is approximately 33 pounds. Mounting is up to the buyer. They suggest U-bolts to the tail rack. Unboxing the pylon pooch. So I ordered the blue cover and that's the first thing you'll see when you unveil it. The next is the top part. Pencil. Put the dog. Some mounting hardware. It also comes with an instruction manual. You remove the bars out of the box. There's a removable pad. After you take out the removable pad, the next thing you're gonna to want to do is remove the screws to the internal base. Just four Phillips screws. And that exposes you to the internal framework. This is just me demonstrating, showing the cover on. The front rolls up. You could have it roll down and there's a zipper in the front and back the dog could stick his head through. All right, so bonus tips. I talked to you about the pull behind trailers. Okay, there's three that I really found in my research, two um, that were production ready. The first one was called the Sherpa Dual Sport Trailer by Kipmoto at kipmoto.com. And once again, I'll have all the links for these down below. Um, the trailer for the Kipmoto are $995. Uh, the hitch kit starts around $15, but they don't currently make a hitch mount for the BMW GS 1200 GS's. Um, then you have to buy a dog crate 
which can range from $40 or up to fit into the frame and then strap it down. The problem with the, the Kip Moto trailer is I couldn't figure out how to get the dog in and out of the crate um, without having to unstrap the crate from the frame because the, the doors would get in the way of the strapping. And I'm sure there's ways to do it, but that was, that was one of the problems. So the total cost for the Sherpa dual float trailer um, was $110 before shipping and without whatever dog crate you choose. And you just have to be uh, cognizant of the internal dimensions versus dog crates. That was another problem I had to fit my 50 pound dog. A lot of the dog crates that fit them wouldn't fit in their trailer. The other one I found was called Trail Tail from trailtail.com. Uh, it's a little bit more robust, I think, than the, the Sherpa Dual Sport. And its frame is $1,350. Then you gotta buy a fiberglass trunk, that's $950. And then you gotta buy an Astro lid um, from like Astro and the Jetsons has a little bubble that they could stick their heads out that replaces the fiberglass trunk lid. That lid's $480. Then you gotta buy a skid plate $140, then a mounting kit for your specific bike. They also don't currently make one for the 1200 GS, uh, and that's th they range around $380. So the total before shipping for the trail tail pull behind trailer was about $3,300. That's a lot. The coolest looking one that I found uh, was a concept by Spin at spincargo.com, um, and they Looks like they put a lot of thought into a pull behind trailer. It's very similar in design to the Kip Moto and the uh, the Trail Tail, and it has some integrated power and stuff like that. However, they're still in the Kickstarter phase. They've been in the Kickstarter phase for about a year. I haven't seen any production models. Their website really hasn't changed, so I didn't really consider them an option at this time. Once again, the reasons I didn't, besides the cost, choose a pull behind trailer. Um, is one, the compatibility with the best-selling adventure motorcycle, the BMW 1200 GS, right? Uh, but the biggest reason is it worried me to be pulling a, a trailer behind that's low, low on the ground. And if something happened and it came disconnected or the dog crate fell off or the dog jumped out, you, it would be very hard to notice until it's too late. Um, and then I'd have to constantly be checking my mirrors, which I'd have to angle so it's showing right behind the bike and not the side traffics to, to use for safety. Um, and so I didn't just really like those, those options. Um, plus, they bounce around a lot. They're, they're supported with a, a pin through the rear axle, and then they have some shocks and one rear wheel. So basically they just bump, but they follow the angle of the bike as you turn so they don't affect the nature of the bike, which is nice. Uh, but I didn't want my little dozer getting bounced around when I go off-road as well. I think for cargo and, and carrying extra cargo for long expeditions, they would be great. Um, so I finally found on some adventure rider forums the pylon pooch system, a British company called the Pack Track at thepacktrack.com. And it seemed like the way to go. That mounts on the real rear tail rack, you could reach around and see your buddy and he could see everything you're doing. Good boy, Dozer. Good boy.